Oscar Armanderez wants to know, who is your favorite action hero from the Expendables movies? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna, the obvious answer is Sylvester Stallone, because he's Sylvester Stallone, but let's put that aside for a second. Um, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme's gonna be mine. I was so disappointed that they ended him and his character <laughs> when they did, because I would love to see him return. But I am looking forward to seeing Mel Gibson as a villain. Dude is looking like he's been he's been on the horse steroids for two years, <laughs> and he looks jacked. Right. So it's gonna be kind of cool seeing Mel Gibson there. What, what about you guys? Chuck Norris. Oh yeah. His Chuck cameos in so Expendables great. Two were hilarious. Just popping out of nowhere, yeah. mowing everyone down, and then leaving. Yeah. And making short little Chuck Norris yes. jokes yeah. as he goes. Yeah, that was really good too. Dolph Lundgren. He's he, so good. Yeah. He's my favorite just because he's he's always gotten the the bad press and this and that, and he's just a really good serviceable action hero. And in 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 Expendables, they play all of his like weaknesses up. So yeah. it's like he's just like you know he's he's really fun. I can't wait to see what they do with his character in Expendables three. So, okay, what else we got? None of you said Statham. I'm so disappointed. Oh, My yeah. heart is broken. Statham is so great, but you know what? He broken. almost doesn't count yeah. because he is a current, ongoing action star. So I almost just think of the older, yeah. older generation. Yeah, he's ones. A, yeah Statham's in like 11 yeah. action movies every year. So he's Mine, like, mine's he's, Liam, <laughs> Liam Hemsworth. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you guys are so mean. Bazinga guy wants to know what your favorite comedy duo is. Oh wow, um, favorite comedy duo. What do you guys think? I'd say Melissa McCarthy and Sandra Bullock. For me. <laughs> <laughs> this currently just popped in my mind. I can't think of my favorite duo of all time, but I mean, Dumb and Dumber just sticks out. I mean, they've only done one movie together, yeah. but it's so hilarious. Yeah. Um. From, I just watched Zoolander again like two nights ago. I haven't watched Zoolander in a while. That chemistry between Stiller and Owen Wilson in Zoolander is so freaking good. But another uh, today though, I would, I might go Steve Carell and Paul Rudd. And that their movies together haven't been the mm. best, aside from the Anchorman stuff. But like, for instance, Dinner for Schmucks, I thought that was a lot funnier than most other people care about. So funny. For. I love the chemistry between those two guys whenever they're on. And they've been in like five movies together now. So I, I, just for the heck of it, I'm going to say that. All right, what's next? Brandon Polk wants to know if we think there'll ever be a Runaways Marvel movie. It all uh, depends on Guardians uh, of the Galaxy. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we were just talking about like, that earlier. A year ago, I would say, no way. No one's heard of them. No one's whatever. If Guardians of the Galaxy makes $500 million worldwide, uh, I mean, Runaways gets back on the table. Right. Runaways gets Because it's a great story. And, and it's a very filmable story. It's a, mm -hmm. Unlike, say, something like Watchmen, which everybody said forever was unshootable right. for, for understandable reasons. Runaways is a very cinematic story. It's it's very shootable. And there's some very cool things you could do there with it, especially as the Marvel Universe. You couldn't do it if you didn't already have an existing Marvel Universe to play off of as the background. Mm -hmm. But now that you do, and if Guardians of the Galaxy works and Ant-Man works, I think it goes on the table. What do you guys think? I think so, especially if they try and keep the budget down, if yeah. they don't you know, blow it up. so. Yeah, I mean, I th it was already option, and they already have a script for it. I mean, as a feature film, it just got pushed back. They wrote back a long a time bit. ago. Yeah, yeah, so they might dust that off, have another writer yeah. take a crack at it, and reintegrate it into the, the Marvel universe now. But yeah, it's probably high priority for Phase Four, as might would be my guess. All right, let's take two more. Eric Leader wants to know: Do you think we will see the Collector and the Affinity Gauntlet in Avengers Three or Thor Three because of his presence in Guardians of the Galaxy? Um, I got a feeling Collector is going to be one and done. Um, so I don't think, Infinity Gauntlet, yeah, they're building up to the Infinity Gauntlet, we know that mm -hmm. for sure, uh, but I, I think the Collector's gonna be one and done. Do you guys see any differently? No. I mean, he briefly shows up in the trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I split don't, I don't know yeah. if he's gonna show up in Avengers 3, but Aven Infinity Gauntlet, yeah, definitely. I mean, Thanos, he's all about the Infinity Gauntlet, so in Avengers 3. And they've been in introducing the concept of the, of the gems. Yes. And, yeah. yeah. And so, definitely in Avengers 3. All right, what's next? Andrew Bridson wants to know, do you think Tony Stark creates a walk-around suit that will be called Vision, and Vision gets corrupted and turns into Ultron? It's, it's one of the possible avenues that they could go. There, there, there's only a few possible avenues, and we know that that's one of them. The other one is that he just creates Ultron. At some point, Ultron creates Vision. They're obviously not going to follow the same story path for Vision in the movies that they do for the comic books. Um, but... Uh, could Vision then morph into Ultron? That, that's one of the two or three options they could go. It's feasible. Don't forget the Human Torch 
from Captain America, the first Avenger, remember back in the 30s, they had the Human Torch. And that's the body that they probably, that's my guess, that was going to become the Vision. That's like a prototype. Well, they can't use Human Torch. No, no, I'm just saying they're going to use that. <laughs> oh, okay, as, that, a pro, as a story arc yeah. prototype, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. I'm still going with the, the brother thing. Ultron and Vision are brothers from uh, Tony Stark creation. That's possible. Mm. All right, just for that, give it one more. Let's take one more. Justin Matthew Duray wants to know if you think Anchorman 3 will be made. <sighs> I don't think so. Um, Anchorman 2 did okay at the box office, made the money, but when you're talking about that lineup, that is a tough lineup to get together and to clear the schedules for all those guys at the same time. And you know what? As much as I loved Anchorman 2, not as good as the first one, but I really did like it, the novelty's done. I, I, I think they're done with the characters. I think now doing a third is pushing it too far. So my guess, um, just from a practicality standpoint, is no, I don't think they'll do it again. What do you guys think? I don't think they'll do it again, especially because it didn't do phenomenally well. It did okay. And also, I think the only way it's going to happen is it, it's like an expendable situation where, like, I don't know, most of the the actors in Anchorman, like, all their careers go all the way down, and they're like, you know what we got to do? we got to get back together and do Anchorman 3. Got to get the gang back exactly. together, guys. But I don't see that happening. Yeah, you know what? I could see Anchorman happening in 15 to 20 years. Anchorman 3... They'll all be on like a desert island or a tropical island and it'll be really cheap to make and it'll be all improv. I mean, you know, I mean, it took 11 years to make Anchorman 2 and they wanted to make it right away and it just took all this time. Anchorman, the first one, wasn't a big hit. It collectively grew as everyone was just like, the people who did see it loved it. But it took a long time to actually get them to be able to make a second one. Uh, I don't think they're going to do a third one and if they do, I agree, it'll be like 15 or 20 years later. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.